Can you define what social means to Cisco and why it's important? And how do you sift through the hype and get to the real value of social and collaboration? Yeah, I think it's I think it's been a challenge, quite honestly, because I think everyone defines again the social aspects better. The way I like to think about it is again, we're very functionally organized here at Cisco. So sales works and together, engineering is a function in marketing, IT, et cetera. And yet when I think of the value for what needs to happen in an enterprise is the is the cross-functional ability for people to understand you know what's really happening. Let me give you an example. So we do a lot of work in marketing on social minor and listening to our customers globally. In fact, I'm in sitting today in this executive briefing center and right around the corner is a social mining, mining visual representation globally, you know, red, yellow, green of what our customers are saying about our products. It's a fantastic way that marketing understands if we launch a campaign in a certain region, we can see the results of that and the reaction to that positive, negative or neutral really quick. Well, wouldn't it be interesting if I could take that social information from marketing and provide that near real time to the engineer that's working on that work? So I think, again, when I think social, I think business is social. So I don't think social, we just think about, you know, just from a consumer standpoint, but I think business already is social. And I think the value is filling in those white spaces. I call them the white spaces between the functions. When I can bring engineering and marketing information together with engineering, when I can put marketing and sales together. I think the value of all of that is when you can bring that together, it really helps drive decision making inside the company. I think there's a danger in, in, in that we all fall into about talking about technology alone in, in terms of social media, social collaboration. Um, but I do want to spend some time on that just because of, of the, they are important. What are the key social technologies from your point of view and why do these matter to Cisco? Well, a couple of things. We have a product called WebEx Social that we've created that really does bring together. It's, it's an enterprise platform that really brings together collaboration where I have the modalities of communication together with business transactional systems and social. So that's one product. But we also have Jabber, which is another product, which really is, you know, the, the integration of instant messaging, voice and video. So in one, it's in one application and one client. So I think the way I view it is, I don't know if you, if those of the audience that's listening has teenagers, but I mean, I watch my kids, I have two teenagers and I watch them and they don't have any kind of rhyme or reason of why they're chatting here, why they're doing some maybe potentially email there, video here, they're Skyping somewhere else. They just have all these modalities at their fingertips and they choose to communicate or collaborate based upon those different modalities. So I think, I think we need to learn from that because from a consumer standpoint, there's no rhyme or reason. In the enterprise, we should have a policy or a strategy of, you know, I might do a quick IM to you for a quick question. Well, the conversation might need to escalate, so now I get on a call. Well, it might even require four or more people to join, so they can join and now we're on a video call. So I think we have to think about the progression of communication, again, globally, across the world, of exactly what, what modality is used for what reason and what purpose. I think at the end of the game, though, is that chat's taught us is that if you can get a quick chat, a quick answer done, and it takes five seconds, everyone would prefer that to a, you know, a 35-minute meeting. Or a three-page email, yeah. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and, and I think yeah, we Even worse. <laughs> we'd, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention presence. The, the, the meeting we're having right now, is it's uncanny in terms of the, how collaborative you can be and how it feels like you're in the same room. Uh, and it really has changed the game in terms of video conferencing as well. Yes, I agree with that, but I also agree with presence just in general. And presence, I also think it's one of the most um, undervalued aspects of technology that I think is going to really play heavily in the future. And what I mean by that is from, a, from an enterprise IT perspective, we've spent a lot of time thinking about what content needs to go to the right person in a company. What person is allowed to see what content? It's all about the person and the content matching that up. But I think when you think about not only who you are in the company, but where you are. So I think the next big opportunity for IT professionals to think about is, especially those that run consumer businesses, if I can match who you are, I know enough about that customer and that information to where you are, I can, that whole location-based services, I think presence is going to be the next big thing that's going to drive a lot of growth for, for companies. From a non-technological point of view, what are the challenges you've had to face in moving to become a true social business? Anytime I've done anything and worked on anything transformational, it really does require, it's a combination of three things, process, culture, and technology. And quite honestly, technology is usually the easiest part. I've found as I've talked to many customers that most companies are really good at two of those. They either have technology and good processes or their culture and process. 
but really trying to get the, the balance of all three together is, is quite challenging, I think, for really any company, including Cisco. So the one thing I've learned in anything transformational is you have your skeptics and your change agents, right? And usually, and then everyone else in the middle. And usually that's 20, 20, 60. You have to incorporate in a transformational project the transformational agents as well as the skeptics, bring them in to help you drive that transformation in the company. The other thing I've learned is that if you deploy something that is simple, intuitive, easy to understand, and adds value to employees, there is no change management or training needed. It's that simple. I think sometimes, though, things get, when you're trying to change people's behavior of going to email every day into a whole new community, I mean, you've got to recognize that that's going to take some, some time to change. But if it's simple, intuitive, and adds value, that they're going to get that. Real, I mean, did any of us ever get trained on Facebook? <laughs> it's a, you just, you know, there's no training required. And I think if we, we as the creators of technology moving forward, I think we should have that mindset that it should not require training. How do you measure success in the social arena? Cisco created a, conducted a value case in which we have available for those who might want to get a copy of it. And they really broke the value of collaboration into four buckets. One was just simply how you reduce costs to improve productivity. The second is how do you save time to increase efficiency? So there's a lot of time savings there. The third is how you actually speed up the process to increase agility. And the fourth is really how you transform business to increase growth. So again, if you take those four kind of key areas, I think it's really important as you begin your journey on the technology roadmap, think about which one are you solving for? Is this a simple, easy one that you're going to save money? Are we going to increase the efficiency of our employees? Or is this really going to be transformational and drive growth? So just thinking about those kind of four big buckets gives some examples of how that can deliver value to the organization.